When you line up at the start line of a Cross Country World Cup, every single rider has the exact same thing on their mind. And that is to win. Of the racers lining up today, only 10 of them have ever won a World Cup. It's the kind of track that has a good history, though, at producing first-time World Cup winners, with three in the last couple of years. Henry Gavancini is going to take his first cross-country yeah, I was a long time dreaming and chasing that. Once you, you achieve the win, you know you can make it. It's this man's first ever Elite World Cup. I found my biggest win I've had, and it was a big relief to, to already tick that box in, in my first Elite race, so... My name's Lauren Smith and I'm here in Novi Mesto for the second round of the UCI Mercedes-Benz Cross Country World Cup. I think for the riders, it's one of the races that is most like classic XC. There's always something to keep you focused and challenged on every aspect of the course. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> there are parts of this track that even in the dry are really quite difficult to master. As you can see, it's super muddy. So yeah! I... When the rain is coming out, uh, it's a different game. Uh, you need to yeah, just accept that you will do a lot of mistakes in one race. And whilst I might have felt a little bit happier about the 30 degree Albstadt weather, there are certain riders who are going to thrive in these kind of muddy conditions. I want it to be even muddier. <laughs> Even Maria. Even Maria. No, it's great. One of the firm favourites, and it doesn't matter what race we turn up to, is Pauline Ferrand Prevot. But in Friday's short track, she had a crash, and it was this section right here. I hit uh, pretty hard the, the blue mark on my uh, cross to my eyes, and uh, yeah, my saddle also went on my belly, and it cut my breathing. But uh, no, I'm, I'm feeling okay and um, yeah, for sure, I want to do my maximum. Honestly, anything could happen today, but one thing's for sure, we're going to see some all-out racing. So we're underway here in Novia Mesto Namaravi, one of the biggest cross-country World Cup races of the year. But look up, this woman is not scared, the confidence is there. Look how technical that climb is. Courtney's off the bike. No one in this field can afford to let her have a gap. Nasty descent in the wet, this one. But it's the formidable figure of Luana Lacombe leading again. Now well, Hayley Batten, second place just before K. Courtney. And a brave ride from Fran Bravo after that big crash. Beckham McConnell there in the yellow. Evie Richards going with her. Coming around, Some, someone's been down. There is a rider down. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> Kate Courtney has bent a brake lever, but thankfully the American back on the bike. It is the hardest I think we've ever seen this track here in Novia Mesto. You can see that back tyre just fighting for traction. And there's Kate, they're fixing that front brake. Thomas Frischnet trying to console her, keep her calm. The other American though, Hayley Batten, riding brilliantly down through the rocks there. Great ride for Evie Richards in fifth place at the moment then. In the gap, six, Fry in seven. Rebecca in second place. Yeah. Overtook uh, Hayley Batten already. Hayley Batten now fighting a go with Rebecca. Rebecca looking really good today. She is a phenomenal talent. This age to be doing this. Oh, Kate Courtney She hated this place last year and it's not being kind to her again. Look at Batten just feeling for grip over those roots. Batten and bruised, but a brave ride from her today. I mean, that's hard to break your rhythm all the time. The riders would much rather stay on the bikes if they can, wouldn't they? I just thought I'd just run. I got faster legs than riding, so I just thought it'd probably easier for me just to run. So just got off and just ran up. <laughs> <laughs> Richard will be uh, more used to 
getting on and off the bike the most in this ride with her cyclocross experience. But at home I do all the time. <laughs> it's so slippy all winter, so I'm always off and on at home. So just what, like riding in the UK, isn't it? <laughs> I can confirm all those things about the UK, the island. Last lap, just hang on, let's keep it going. So Healy Pepin, she's not that far behind the second place. No, they're all coming back together a little bit, Bart. Bam, has gone by Rebecca McConnell now. Big smile across her face, blows a kiss at the camera. There is a new French force in women's cross-country Olympic. Luan Lecomte wins in Novia Mesto, Namoravi and goes two for two in 2021. Very good and I love to play in, in the mud and uh, yes, it was so funny. <laughs> Her first two elite cross-country World Cups and both on the podium for her. A little <laughs> slick, but so fun. It was awesome. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> Rebecca McConnell, all the way from Australia, across the line in third. I think, I guess it's like one thing when you're in second, you don't mind so much dropping to third. I think fourth, and then you feel like it's a bit of a disaster, but I'm super happy with third. And... A beat-up world champion. Fourth place for Pauline. First cross-country Olympic elite World Cup podium for the young British rider. After this crash, I slept uh, pretty bad uh, yeah, during two nights, so it was a bit hard, but uh, yeah, today I gave my maximum and I'm happy with uh, the fourth place today. What an incredible race amongst the women. Loana Lecomte recording her third Elite World Cup victory. That girl has been in front of every single race and every single lap in 2021. What an unbelievable stat that is. But of course, now we've got the men coming up and it's all go in the pits. The guys are warming up and our main man, Nino Scherter, that guy is hungry. Already won here five times. So I'm expecting big things from Nino today. Honestly, I have no idea how this one is going to go, but it's certainly going to be fun to watch. Novia Mesto World Cup is underway. Van der Poel fires out on the number two bike. The pace is ferocious. Van der Poel's not scared of uh, forcing the pace in these early laps, is he? And Nino Schroeder, he's the only man who can answer that. Look at that. Matthias Flickiger now third place with Thomas Pitcock. No time to relax, to sit back. Pitcock making a little bit of a move there. So, so fast. Nice to see them riding together yeah. in a race like this. Sink now on third place with Matthias Flickiger. Nino on fifth place. Slippery roots. Looking at that bar, it's miraculous that these guys can even ride it, yeah, isn't that, it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Do they have an advantage, Bart? I mean, coming from cyclocross, they're much more used to anyone else than to get on and off bikes quickly. Right? Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, it's a special uh, skill that you need to use. Pitcock now to the front. Oh, look He's at the pace of him. He is pushing yeah, hard. Again, pushing hard. Putting the hurt on Vanderpool. Out of this saddle. See how fast he goes. Oh, my goodness. Pitcock taking 13 seconds out of Vanderpool on that climb. Mission. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is unbelievable. It's Matthew van der Poel. It's Flukiger, Sink and Scherter that he is just riding away from. Man, he can ride a mountain bike. No problem at all. Oh, no problems at all for him. What blew up that? Impressive. Yes, Flukiger on the third place. Can he get on level terms with van der Poel? Scherzer goes down hard, the front wheel gets the wrong side of that route. Looking at right with the big Dutchman now. Numbers two and three in the race. This is an attack for Flukiger, yeah. Yeah, Flukiger goes. Flukiger 124 back then to Pitcock. Scat just keeps growing. Strong eyes from everyone. It's just that Thomas Pitcock is on a different page of the book. <laughs> he is on a different page. <laughs> As Pitcock comes up to hear the bow. One more to go then for this young Brit. 
for Van der Poel. Riding hard now into this last lap. Just flicking off so I can close that gap to my chair on the pool. The number five and six in the race. Saru now fifth place. At the least six. Well, Thomas Pitcock has rode an amazing race. All the time in the world to play with. He could get off and walk to the finish line if he wanted to. With the biggest winning margin ever here in Novia Mesto Namoravian. A perfect race start to finish here today. Believe the hype. Thomas Pitcock wins in Novia Mesto Namoravi. His first cross country World Cup win. Big ride again from Matthew van der Poel. Looked good in the early stage of the race. But he didn't have anything for Thomas Pitcock today. Matthias Flukiger, third place today for him. The ride for Andre Sieg on the World Cup podium. He's happy with that. <laughs> Close the announcer. It's Jordan Saru, the world champion, who takes the last step of the podium. Honestly, I think, yeah, I mean, I think I was born to do mountain bike, to be honest. Um, yeah, it sounds stupid, but I think it's what I've, I've done since I was little and what I've enjoyed the most. And uh, yeah, coming here and uh, yeah, winning an Elite World Cup, uh, kind of, well, my second attempt, but my first attempt at uh, equal playing field is, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty insane, really. Yeah, already his first attack, I felt that uh, I didn't really have an answer and I just had to ride my own pace, but I'm quite happy with the performance today. I already made uh, some good progression in comparison to last week, so I'm happy with that. It's harder starting at the back, I tell you. <laughs> uh, today was one of those days where I, I knew I was going to be super strong, you know, and... Uh... Well, it has been a long time since we've heard the British National Anthem in a men's cross-country World Cup. 27 years to be exact, but that man, Tom Pidcock, standing top of the podium, another first-time winner here in Novia Mesto Namorave. What an exciting weekend of racing we've had. And just look at that. The champagne sprays, the Brits are happy, it's been a good weekend.